that queen and her king live happily ever after. Just so y'all know, it don't always work out like that. Sometimes things don't go the way you plan. It's time to start a new chapter. Let's get started, man. A new season, season five. And I mean, let's start with y'all a couple. I mean, because there's a lot of shows that's exploring a whole bunch of stuff, but you guys are really exploring this sexuality stuff that you know, uh, different types of relationships, open relationships, uh, you know, uh, broken marriages, everything. Like, I feel like I feel like you get the whole the whole group of of uh, you know uh, scenarios that people go through it and um, in this show. Like, how how does it feel to explore different relationships through the seasons? It's been it's been different. I mean, just exactly what you said. It. it it covers so many topics and so many real issues uh, that so many people can relate to. So I think that's important just to, for a person to see their story on television and relate to it. And then, or it may not even be their story, their current situation, but a situation that's going to occur. And to just know, like, you know, this is potentially an outcome or, you know, maybe you may make a different decision and have a different outcome. So just taking it all in as a whole, considering their decisions and the opposite of what their decision was. So it, it, it's a lot to think about and take in. That was a, that was a perfect answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, no, honestly, it's, it's definitely, um, it's fun. I think it's like we're on screen feeling someone else's shoes and someone else's experience um, in, in, in their relationship and, um, it's just it's it's been a roller coaster, and I think it's it's been great for TV. It's been great for, you know, Twitter and 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 the and debates. And I know last year, I all of our DMs are going crazy. It's just about what happened last season, and just like people really feel like the show is real. You know, like I don't even like we don't even get called by our, our real names. Like it's like, you know, like Tim, end it. <laughs> And I'm answering. I'm like, at this point, it's just, it's, it's. Uh, I think this show is going to be stuck with our careers, you know, for forever, you know. And I think this is the impact, you know, we're making. So it's, um, it's, it's incredible. Speaking of uh, careers, Jacob, you, you know, you've been musician and actor. I mean, you're just a talent. And I, I, I see that you're belting some lines, uh, um, in, in one of the episodes of, on this. Are we gonna get to see you, um? Are we going to get to see more of that talent being explored in, in the shot? Are, we going to, going to, are they going to show that Emmett could, could sing also? You know, I, 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 thought, I thought about that. Um, I do think, like, I think at this point it would be, um, it just wouldn't be all the way correct for me. I think, like, Emmett, to me, he wasn't introduced that way, so I feel like it would be a little thrown off and I think it's just an easy outlet for me to just sing and naturally I feel like you can come to my Instagram and you can go see Jacob Lattimore content but it's like when I'm acting I really want to act you know what I mean I really want to be an actor I really want to take my acting to the next level and not just sing in every project you know what I mean I definitely know that you know music is something my fans really really want and I, I'm definitely gonna give that to them but I think with this show in particular it's a different story you know it's just not it's not about the. It's not about me singing. So, um, so if you if if you do hear me singing, it ain't gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, you're you're from Chicago, so I, I, I'm wondering um, how how do the local how's the local community feel about the show as a representative of of the city? Like, do, do they do they ever hit y'all stuff that y'all might might not get the way they wanted to, or, or let's say no, no, that's not how people in the shot do it. Do how do, how do you get it from the locals? Um, well, first off, I want to say I like your hat because that's a local hat. Um, I did that for y'all. But, um, <laughs> the, you know, I get more positive feedback than negative. It's small things like lingo that Chicagoans are very uh, biased about and, and passionate about. And we do try to, you know, navigate through that, like the dialogue. When it, Like if it's something I see, if, they, if I see them saying soda, I'm like, wait, we don't say soda. We say pop. Like that's a thing. So yeah. we do try to make those modifications, but everyone seems to really, really enjoy it. You get randoms here and there that's like, well, this is not, 
you know, how we do this or this wouldn't happen. But, you know, honestly, even though the shy is based on, you know, some Chicagoans, th these group of people can, this, these situations can happen anywhere. It can yeah. happen in Philly, New York, anywhere. So, I mean, I think that's something to consider, but, you know, obviously this is our hometown, so we're going to be a little biased. Jacob, it seems like every season um, you guys lose like uh, uh, a main character that was in the season before, kind of like uh, unexpectedly during the off season. You know, it's like so. So, uh, how how is that like? Is it ever like jarring to adjust as a character to like characters you might have thought would stay in the storyline, and you get into a whole nother? Is it ever like? Do you ever miss those characters? I guess in in, in the story. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, there was there were great moments, and then, but uh, the thing about it, those seasons will live forever, and you know, streaming just our show will be on for for I think for generations. I think a lot of generations will will see this show, and um, you know, obviously things happen, but we 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 excited for the next season. We're excited to keep working. I think, um, you know, credit to the writers room. They're really just making this thing work. Like, you know, if we if we lose somebody. We just keep the put. We keep the story pushing, and we we come to set motivated, and you know, keeping that the energy high, and trying to uh, make the best show possible. I feel like everybody's getting some, but Papa. I mean, when when is Papa gonna get get uh, get lit? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> everybody with Papa seems like they got like a little scenario where they uh, you know, can, can, can you talk to the writer and say like, look, man, Papa need to just go ahead and just you know. Hey, no. Get lit. <laughs> yeah. Mark definitely doing his thing this season. Uh, he got a he got a new uh, new look this season. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good vibe for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do y'all interact with the fans? Um, because we know that no matter what Elon Musk does, like Black Twitter is his own kind of company, organization, everything else. Sorry, I'm in Inglewood. But um, <laughs> how does how do how do y'all interact with those fans when they're, they're in your DMs. Do y'all do, do a lot of back and forth with them? Do y'all give them any little, little, uh, little hints about what might happen? Do you, you know, how do y'all play along? Um, Jacob, you want to go first? <laughs> no, I, I definitely, and in, I interacted last year for sure. I was, I was reposting to some of the videos. Uh, uh, looking at the comments, I replied a couple of DMs. I just send a little laugh emojis because it's just like for me, I don't take it personally. Like I'm like, I'm not in it for real, but you know, I definitely understand the perspective of like you live with a show and you like, nah, you in it, you know. So it's, you know, um, you know it's, it's funny to me because it's like. You know, this is, I think this is what we all want as actors. You know, you want something they can feel and make it, it's like this gener this this show is going to be with our careers forever. You know what I mean? They yeah. all see this show and be like, Im. you know what I mean? So it's uh it's incredible. I, I think I, I take it with a grain of salt and I love it. I love it. Crazy thing, uh, your, your on-screen father lives across the street from me in Inglewood. <laughs> so, yeah, in Rolanda? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, so him and his daughters, we get to hang out at like cookouts and holidays, they come over and everything else. So mm -hmm. um, it, it feels like it feels like y'all are a family. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a last question I'm in with this, Hannah. Like, I mean, now that, you know, you and, um, well, you, your character, Emma's character have, have had this relationship over the years. Like how much closer have you two got like off screen, having played these characters uh, over all these seasons, like how have y'all relationship grown? Jacob and I, we real cool. But you know what? To be honest with you, and I'm not exaggerating, all of us are very close. Like mm -hmm. we're very close. We all look forward to working together, seeing each other, hanging out, doing whatever we can to spend time with each other. And I think that's that's one of the the um, the, the perks of the shot. Like we all. And connect and coincide in some type of way. We we can we all got a similar sense of humor. You know how difficult it is just to connect with people that got a similar sense of humor. We really all are connected. So me, Jacob and I, we real close. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Definitely a, a normal thing just to, you know, text Hannah, text Yolanda, Rolando. We all on a group chat, you know, mm -hmm. how to make a or make it a thing after every season we get out on the uh the yacht. And the lake and, and see the see the city and you know just like just take in take in that that season we just finished and just like because a lot of with COVID we didn't get a chance to see each other a lot um yeah 
it was so different. And um, you know, it's just that it's just a good feeling of just like accomplishment of just like, you know, we did it, you know, and uh we just manifest the next projects, the next year, the next season. And um, yeah, we just it's it's a it's a good, it's a good vibe. It absolutely is. Like it really is. Well, I'm I'm just on episode, I'm just getting to episode three, so I haven't got to see that much of the season yet. But I'm 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 loving episode what I've seen three so far. of what season? Of this season, you know, I'm a, a journalist. I'm a I'm a critic. I get to like sneak peek, and you know, I can't tell anybody what happened. Oh, but you know, okay. I, but I'm, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far, and can't wait to see the rest of it. Can't wait to you know the, the audience gets to see it. And oh, nice God. meeting you, Hannah. I got you know I can't I can't wait to we do more interviews. And Jacob, Jacob, I gotta big up you for always, no matter what red carpet, wherever you at, man. You always take time to talk to the black press. You never like pass us up like that, and I really. Really respect that you uh, that you share your art and and our and our work uh, and our work relationship like that, man. So big ups to you, man. Keep on doing that, man. I really appreciate it, brother. Thank you. 